Hi, welcome back. Another important tip from my side. Uh, first of all, uh, good morning, good afternoon, all students and professionals. So the topic is like minimum theory app, important transaction code, must new by all SAP function consultants. See, SAP has extended by 2025. ECC might be over, but it not completely over because clients won't be that that much easily convincible for ECC scrapping. Okay, maybe support stops, but it depends. Like you know, on parallel, like you know, worldwide, uh, wherever S4 HANA installations required, their ECC is alive. But currently, S4 HANA is a bit trending. Okay. Before getting into the session, let me show you, okay? So these are the two transactions, okay? Slash N, okay? UI2 FLP slash N, UI2 FLPD, and this is for customization. This is the transaction. You must remember, always you are with this transaction only, or else you can able to log in Fury directly. If you would like to uh, go from your S4 HANA, okay system to the uh, browser then you have to click this transaction okay apart from that few other transactions also there probably you can have a look around it if you would like to try it okay but this is the transaction you, you remember okay so you try to understand one thing if you try directly here i didn't use slash n for every transaction what exactly sap has done SAP has a revolution around more than 30 to 40 years. Okay. Whenever they introduce, for example, if you take GTS, Global Trade Services, which is the replacement and higher version of your foreign trade. Of course, it is available in S4 HANA system also. It was a separate box. Okay. With uh, huge functionalities in current uh, 2023 also. But it has a not a limited sense maximum whatever the functionalities they can utilize that uh, they have given with uh, s4 hana system global trade services as a sub module like that you know if any new transactions they have introduced a new program which is linked with uh, the sessions okay at a programming level they have given slash n that's why you have to use slash n if you use directly it won't work you work for you okay so let me try to show you this how it works for you so but it is very important you must know this at least okay so if someone asks in entries like you know how you can able to utilize your fury apps that is pure technical side designing side you need not worry about that being a functional consultant always concentrate on this box only okay but you have to do the testing of the fury apps it depends on implementation and support project <laughs> But I'm not giving the fear. I'm just giving instruction to you. Don't worry about that. This is the transaction slash and UI to FL. If we click this, it automatically go to this uh, browser. Okay. Let me show you this. How you can able to log in. Okay. So I'm just giving my test user and. okay so it has a cookie so let me try to get on to that simple this is simple just log in this so many consultants are aware of this across the world it's not a new thing but if you are a beginner see you can see this is the beauty of these are we'll call them it as the tiles actually for example okay if you'd like to oh, let's go here somewhere where you know uh, let's go to the billing documents as an example you can see for create billing documents you are using this browser so why sap has got introduced previously there is uh, another uh, module called enterprise portal okay that is uh, very less clients now using okay if they are not in s4 hana so what exactly sap thought about that that 
not exactly fit into the for example if you are raising sales orders in your mobile or you know tab or you know other uh, uh, tools actually so it is not giving flexibility whereas fury is giving the flexibility so but i'm giving one instruction it is very slow okay uh, never try to install this so we'll discuss that in another session actually in your system as for hana because it has a huge hardware requirements okay but uh, when you take on rent basis you can able to do the practice there is no uh, you know hard hard stop for you okay so like for example if i click this okay create billing document so okay so these are the open delivery uh, items are there so it's a bit slow actually it's in a microsoft edge browser so this basically you can able to use it for uh, create billing in the similar way like you know if you'd like to schedule a output or else you know you can see this uh, like you know you see this vf01 let's try to click this so it is a bit slow like uh, it is uh, these links will be created by fury technical consultants okay see this exactly they have connected the same screen in the, but uh, you you can able to see this in a browser sense this is the fury don't worry about this if you don't know anything you can able to search this i will show the navigation okay so in my next video i am going to show you how to run order delivery billing by using fury apps not back end okay so that's all for today so i have what i would like to tell is i have a few set of courses available in udemy these links i'm giving uh, below the description related to sd and s4 hana if anyone would like to uh, utilize this opportunity for learning you can get into this otherwise i will try to share my knowledge if you are not at subscribed to my channel please subscribe thank you very much have a great day